Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you all about my new rough and tumble small train. So stay tuned to see all the features of this bag and everything that fits. So I just want to jump right in and show you guys this bag because it is just so beautiful. I bought it on the pre-loved site by rough and tumble. It's through a company called treat, I guess that they use as like a, um, point of sale. I assume. However, assumptions are not always right, <laughs> but it is through rough and tumble. So you can actually go on there and list the bags that you've already previously purchased through them. And then you can take new pictures, or I think you can also use the pictures that are on there. Always better to take your own pictures because then people can see the current state of the bag and you list it up. And if you sell it through them and you want a store credit, you get 110% store credit. If you want cash sent to you, it's, you get 80% of the sale. So it's really a good deal if you love rough and tumble, like I have fallen back in love with them. Um, it's a really good deal because you'll get 110% of the actual sale. So you get extra money to spend on their website. Amazing. So this is a tumbled black. It's called their tumbled black leather. And this is a linen. I don't actually know exactly what linen this is, but I can, if I can find it, I will put the name across here. If you know the name of it, put it down in the comments below for other people to find in case I can't find it. Somebody custom made this and then sold it. They never even used it. Uh, if you've seen my vlog, I think it was vlog 13 maybe. I talked about how this came in the mail while I was still in Dallas for that emergency trip I had to take back to Dallas. And this came in the mail. You have three days to accept, I believe, the package through the Rough and Tumble pre-love site. If not, they automatically accept it for you, which means that if there are any problems, if the bag does not look as it was described, you, after three days, cannot dispute anything. So I asked my husband to FaceTime me and he opened it. And my husband is like very, um, he's very detail oriented more so than I am. And so I was really glad to have him put eyes on the bag. He opened it and he was like, this is still in the original packaging. I mean, did she ever even open it or use it? I said, no, actually she didn't. So let me read to you what she wrote on the website as the description for, uh, for this bag. So it is the, it's a uh, new linen and tumbled black small train. Um, it is condition was new with original packaging. Seller notes were new limited tumble black and linen small train. Nickel hardware with hoops and keepers, navy textile lining, black zips, does not include the pictured key fob, which it didn't, and it comes from a smoke-free dog-friendly home, which is exactly the home that I live in too, so no problem there. It is a small, so it is 12 by 12 and then by 6, so when you are to like spread that out, it's 6 inches deep as it sits, and it does cinch closed here, so you just pull, pull on, oh, there we go pull on this and it cinches the top close, which is really nice if you want to uh, like wear it on your back or whatever, you know it's very safe. The cool thing about the trains are they are convertible. So you can actually shorten this strap and wear it as a shoulder bag, which I guess you could wear it long as a shoulder bag as well. But um, when I wear it as a shoulder bag, I typically want to wear it up here. You can wear it as a crossbody, And you can also then take the straps and pull them through on the sides and wear it as a backpack. How cool is that, right? And isn't it just so cute? So I really love that this is so convertible. You can wear it so many different ways. I'll put mod shots at the end of like what it looks like wearing it as a shoulder and crossbody and backpack, though you did just see most of those. The shoulder carry, I'd like to show you more as a shortened up strap. So like I said, this is a small 12 by 12. The depth is six. A medium is 13 by 13 and the depth is six and a large is 14 by 14 and the depth is also six. So it just gets a little bit taller and a little bit wider as you go up in the um, size. Let me just also read you the rest of the description. Um, this is the description from Rough and Tumble about like this type of bag, the train. This bag is floppy and bouncy and so fun to just wear open and drapey like a tote. When one needs to cinch it closed, this, this design stays closed and secure. If traveling, just tie the top poles for extra security. The beauty is in the squishy top fold and poofy body. Available to customize with outer pockets and color blocking, just give us a call. The train with the patented LP adjustable straps has all the beloved details and function of the original hobo pack. It adjusts from shoulder length to crossbody and any length in between. A quick cinch of the strap and the train is a backpack. Add the optional clip-on grab handle shoulder strap from the menu. The strap adjusts short enough not to need the extra handle, but many like to add it so they can have both options long and short at the same time without adjusting. So what that means is if you, if you have these D-rings that are put on and she custom made this, so she had these D-rings added, you can actually add what they call an elevation strap, which is like um, two leathers. I'll put a picture of it right here so that you can see it. Or they have some other adjustable straps that you can add or different um, short straps that are literally just for uh, shoulder carry. 
I also have a bunch of different straps that I've always changed out on my purses. Now, none of the purses that I have now, except for the Pinch Bottom Traveler from Rough and Tumble, have like removable straps. Now, if you custom make it, uh, Tiffany was telling me that if you custom make it, you can make this a um, removable adjustable strap. I have not custom made, so this is what I have. And there's the beautiful inside. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn the camera around and point it down and show you what all fits in the small train. Let's go. Okay, so now you can see some of some more of the detail up close of this bag. The linen is so beautiful. These zips on the front are really, really smooth. And you can see that the interior is that blue textile and that, that pocket goes all the way down to the bottom as well as this pocket here. When you custom make it, you can actually get it that the zippers start here and, uh, or yeah, like start here when it's closed and you open them going that way. And then the interior is this beautiful blue textile, gorgeous. In the back here, it is hard because this bag is so floppy, so bear with me. In the back here, you do have one large zip pocket and that goes all the way down, almost to the bottom, a few inches away from the bottom. So it's a really nice deep pocket. And then flip it around this way. It has two slip pockets here. And it's pockets within pockets because there's pockets here and a slip pocket back here. So there's two slip pockets here and a slip pocket in the front and two slip pockets here and a slip pocket right there in the front. You have a D ring here if you wanted to connect maybe like your AirPods or whatever. And then also, like I said, she added these D rings here and here so you can do a removable um, strap. And then down at the bottom, there's a D ring right here that you can add whatever you want to that. I mean, I guess if you wanted to... Um, I mean, again, like hand sanitizer or your AirPods or whatever. And this actually is a clasp right there. So you can clasp up there. If you have another use that you use this for, if you have this on your purse, leave it down in the comments so we can get some ideas of how else to better use that. Um, so as you can see, it is just one big hole. And I thought it would be kind of fun to do a purse swap over. Right now I'm carrying my 1903 in the Selkie um, leather, Selkie and Cognac leather. And you can see that it is kind of a mess down in there. So why don't we swap over into this bag? But before we swap over, let me show you what does fit. So this is my like 11 inch iPad and that fits no problem whatsoever. It can even still cinch closed. And my iPad is down in there totally secure, which is really nice. The iPad fits. I have a cash pack here in the hibiscus color that fits obviously no problem. I have two glasses case. Let me just show you that those fit down in there. No problem, vertically or horizontally, obviously. This is the zip top pouch and medium and the double gilded mink, I think, I believe. I will write that across the screen for you. And it has the top stripe, which is the same material. This is just one big catch-all for me and it's got that beautiful lining. I think it's called Lynx, maybe. Anyway, just wanted to show you like that fits in there just fine. I'm just trying to work it around what I've already got in there. So all that fits, and even if they were full, they would fit, um, especially if they were to be stood upright like that. I have a Louis Vuitton Toiletry 19 that fits down in there. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. Just fold that down. And I also carry these like Kate Spade wallets sometimes, and of course that fits down in there. I also wanted to show you that the wallet actually fits down in this pocket really nicely and really easily. So now let's do a purse swap. So I'm going to go ahead and leave the iPad in there because it does give it a little bit of structure. So while I'm trying to show you guys, it gives it some weight to hold it down. But that'll also be good to show you that, look, it fits all of the stuff that I carry on the daily and my iPad. So let's go ahead and swap. Let me pull out everything from my purse that I have currently, and then let's put it in here. Okay, so I pulled everything out for my 1903. I can't believe all of that fit in that 1903. That is absolutely crazy. So now I'm gonna show you how this fits. So I've got my iPad in there. This is a 2022 uh, 11 or 10.9 inch um, iPad. And so then I have this clutch. This is a full clutch from Rough and Tumble. It's in the elephant ear. I carry some cash. I carry this um, little pouch in here that carries like all my change. I have my upcycled Louis Vuitton card holder in here. And then I also have like a little tiny pill box just in case I get a migraine or something while I'm out. And that all fits just right in there. If it's down in there horizontally or vertically. And right now I'm just going to do it vertically. Then I have the cash pack and I believe it's hay and brown. I can't remember the exact colors. I'll put that in there. That also fits down in there like that. Um, then I have this card case, which I think these are the ones they no longer make, but that also fits in there. And I just use that to carry like lipsticks and whatever so I can get to them easily. 
So, so far, like tons is fitting in here. The next thing I carry is some hand sanitizer. What I like to do is go inside the pocket in the pocket and put that in there so it's standing up securely. Same with this hand sanitizer. This is Dr. Bronner. So I'm kind of switching over to the Dr. Bronner's brand for a lot of stuff. And that also just fits right back here in this pocket. So I know that both my hand sanitizers are right there. I'm just trying to use this one up, even though it smells great and really feels clean. I just am switching to what I believe is a little bit cleaner brand. So then I have this is just a pen that I carry and it's in a like pen holder. I'll also put that back there and a nail file fits right there. So then I have a lot of junk that I've been carrying around. These are my Beats um, headphones, Beats by Dre, I believe. I can't remember exactly. I'll link them down below. That fits just right down in there. I've got my keys right here that go. They just fit right there in that pocket within a pocket. And then last but not least is all this junk that I'm carrying in my purse. It's all these birthday cards and everything that I received from people in August for my birthday. And I'll just show you because I was carrying it already that it fits in there, no problem. And then I usually just throw some sunglasses on top. You could also put your sunglasses right there in that empty space. And it's plenty of room, tons of room left. Oh, and my hair, my hair clip just sits right there. So tons, tons fits in there. Um, I was going to show you also... This planner that I got from Amazon a while back, I don't think they have it anymore. If they do, I'll link it down below. This is not Louis Vuitton, but, but it is Louis Vuitton inspired. And that also fits right down in here. So look at all of that that I can carry in there. That is a ton and it still cinches up almost all the way. So that is the rough and tumble train. This is it all packed up with everything that I just showed you, including the day planner. And I'm gonna put it on my back just to show you guys how that fits. I wanna be careful because I do have technology in it now. So I don't wanna just like drop it on accident. So this just goes back here and yes, it's quite a bit heavier because I have all that stuff in there and it's partially leather, but look at how cute that sits on the back. I really love this purse so much. It is definitely a favorite. I've been carrying it forever. I had to make myself switch out of it because I, I want to um, rotate through my bag so that none of the leather gets too worn too fast. Here it is packed up crossbody. Of course, this is super long because I have, um, I had it extended for it to be a backpack, but this is just <laughs> such a beautiful bag. And even if you don't get a pre-loved one, you can go on their website and see the ones that they have that are already produced. You'll see it in the colors of the circles and it'll tell you how many of that color they already have made. Um, or you can order one that isn't already made, but is not a custom. And that's just one that they kind of produce. Now that they are not mass produced because they are all handmade one at a time in Maine with love. Um, just beautiful craftsmanship that you just don't get in a lot of purses anymore. Y'all know that I have had, um, a lot of luxury brands in my life and I have pretty much sold them all because rough and tumble is just, it just takes the cake on, on craftsmanship. So that is the rough and tumble small train. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this video didn't go on too long. I just wanted to make sure that I covered all the features of the bag. If you have any questions about this purse, comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Don't sleep on this purse. Go get one. Look on the pre-love sites. There are Facebook groups you can join. I'll link those down below. Uh, a couple of them that are so great. People are constantly posting things up for sale. I actually saw that this one was posted up for sale on one of those sites like a year ago maybe. And it was also li listed up on Treat. So it was meant to be because it was supposed to be with me. It didn't sell yet. Uh, but I just think it's so beautiful. So don't sleep on it. Go get you a train. And that's all I have to tell you about that. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was informational. If there's, like I said, anything else you want to know, let me know in the comments down below. I'll talk to you next time. Bye. And wear it as a crop uh, yeah. <laughs> and wear it at I guess um, I actually don't know available to customize with our outer pockets and um, 
Um, what do they call that? A, uh, if you have any other use that vertically, I'm just trying to work it around. Oh, it is a little bit hot. 